go take you to Italy. Italy. I go take you to America. After successfully grabbing the crown as Africa's top female DJ in 2015, Bilonia Harris, DJ Copy, decided to add recording artists to her profile. To be able to come out on top, the 28-year-old beautiful entertainer decided to create a strategy. Taking things by the year from 2016 to 2021, Copy has some hit songs to her credit. A strategy worked out after all, except that she was recently exposed. Taken to Twitter on January 8, 2020, DJ Copy decided to break the yoke and questioned Zanku Kruna, Zlatan Ibile, on the rationale behind blocking her on social media. Reminding him that Gelato, the single they did together, was a hit, Copy emotionally noted that she misses their friendship. Reports started flying that Copy used and dumped the singer. Zlatan adding icing on the cake denied knowing who Copy is during his first 2021 interview. And this begs the question, is Zlatan the only artist Copy has used and dumped for fame over the years? Hello guys, it's t here for African Glitz. Sit back as we go over 11 popular artists DJ Copy reportedly used and dumped to advance a music career. Techno Miles Techno Miles is one of Nigeria's most talented music artist and producer. The Pana singer brought something different to Afrobeat in 2015, 2016 and stayed on the spotlight for a very long time. In October of 2017, Copy released a first ever official single, Green Light, featuring voice vocals and visuals from Techno. The song opened a whole new horizon for the DJ and brought a recognition many upcoming artists can only dream about. With Green Light doing better than she anticipated, the two grew very close within a short time. Around this time, Copy and Victor Anichebe's relationship hit the rocks just as Techno and his baby mama, Lola Ray, sparked split rumors. In no time, Copy declared on social media that Techno is a genuine friend of hers besides their song, but their fans were expecting something more. Interestingly, along the way, Copy dumped Techno for the next hot in the chat. Two and a half years later, it appears Techno doesn't want to have anything to do with her. Taken to her IG story on February of 2020, Copy pleaded with Techno to pick a call as she needed him on a debut album, original copy. Well, it appears Techno never picked a call as he was missing in action on the album. Sakodie Seeing as the green light she made with Techno had become a red light, Copy soon moved to top Ghanaian rapper Sakodie to further her career. Following the realization that he vibed very well, she immediately featured him on her second official single, Vibe. In her usual fashion, the Afro pop song was quite infectious and catchy. Got a high quality music video from top music video producer Cheson. The second single, Down, a few more weeks of founding over Sakodie and promoting their songs together, Copy soon moved on to her next spray. Strong and mighty, oh yeah. Balangala, baby, no. Lax. Just before Copy dropped her third official single, she was seen everywhere with Razaki Music Boss and Frontman, Lax. They were even going to the same gym and calling themselves best friends. When Copy finally dropped her third official single, Currency, featuring Lax in August 2018, Copy was never seen around him any longer. It soon became clear that Copy had become friends with him to advance a music career. Thank you. Next. <laughs> Skooky for Copy's fourth official single, Wack, which was released on October of 2018, Copy recruited the services of duo band Skooky, who was the rave of the moment. Copy had hoped that being friends with them and collaborating on Wack would give her a first hit song. According to music critics, Skooky has a vibe that exposes untalented artists during collaboration. Shockingly, Copy's Wack turned out to be the single with the most negative reviews. Even her cupcakes didn't copy this too. Oh, Crazy author. Seeing how bad work turned out with Skooky, but still determined to make it in the music industry, Copy ran back to Ghana and recruited BET award-winning Ghanaian rapper and musician Kwesi Arthur. In April of 2019, Copy came back with her fifth single, Abena. Although she featured two Nigerian artists, Shady and Caesar Millie, Kwesi Arthur was the major artist on the single, and the other two artists were forced to work in Ghana due to this. Her fans loved the song from reviews, and she soon blessed them with a beautiful African icon quality video. Two months after, DJ Copy stopped fawning over the ground up Charlie Kruna and was soon seen trying really hard to get the attention of Zanku Kruna, Zlatan Ibile. Zlatan Ibile 
Just weeks after Copy and a billionaire dad Otedola flew to Italy to have a taste of gelato, a song idea popped up and she felt Zlatan was the best artist to feature. Of course, he was. When Zlatan Ibile was known for dropping hit songs back to back and his dance routine, Beku was hot and trending, so she called through to Zlatan Ibile and instantly became friends, or so Zlatan thought. To prove her love for the singer, Copy learned how to dance Beku and his popular phrase. What? <laughs> Copy released Gelato in August of 2019 featuring Zlatan and just like she anticipated, Gelato was a hit. For months, it appeared that Zlatan and Copy had grown close. They even sparked dating rumors after Zlatan warned Anthony Joshua to leave Copy alone. Fast forward to January 2021, Copy revealed that Zlatan had blocked her on social media. According to reports, Zlatan blocked the billionaire heiress on WhatsApp and Instagram. A source close to Zlatan revealed that the singer featured on Copy's Gelato for free. But when Gelato became a hit, Copy refused to appreciate him with cash or kind. Also, Copy began ignoring his calls and responding late to his messages. Reacting to Copy in a new interview, Zlatan totally denied knowing who Copy is. Ouch! Rema all done and dusted with Zlatan, but with a hit song to her name now, Copy felt it was time to drop a debut album. She recruited the help of the hottest artist at the time, with Rema being the first. Since Rema's debut, Rema won the heart of young Nigerians and has been ahead of the pack, especially in making hit songs. He also has loyal fans, the two combo that Copy looks out for in collaborations. When Copy announced that she will be featuring Rema, his fans made it known that they will be among the first to download it because of Rema. And finally, on on July 16, 2020, Copy released Jalof on the Jet, the lead single on her debut album, Original Copy. The single warmed many people up to her album and she got a massive 14 million streams under 5 months of its release. But the issue is, she has since stopped being friends with Rema just like she did the others. Stone Boy Among the many artists Copy featured on her 12-track debut album is Ghana heavyweight artist Stone Boy. She featured him on Karma. Since its release in August of 2020, the track has been going through massive airplay in Nigeria and Ghana. And with that a success, Copy's friendship with Stone Boy has dwindled. Nonetheless, Copy got what she wanted. Karma music video amassed over 1.2 million streams on YouTube under two months. Karma, karma, you got to know in your karma. Tenny the Entertainer we don't know how she did it, but Copy could get Tenny to feature on her debut album. From what we see on social media, it was an accidental feature. Tenny had come to see her in a studio but walked in singing Little Lit, and voila, Copy added Little Lit to her album. Tenny being a great songwriter and singer, Little Lit has been lightening the streets and clubs since its release. Copy even released its colorful music video in December of 2020. But it appears all is not well with the two as Tenny refused to post a collaboration with copy on social media. Fireboy DML On Feel Good, one of the singles of Copy's album, she recruited YBNL artist signee Fireboy DML. Since its release, it looks like all has fallen apart with the duo. Fireboy, like other artists on the album, refused to promote the song on his social media page. That's not all. It appears the jealous crooner also refused to shoot a video for the song. Another classic case of use and dump, Wyclef John. And this brings us to our last artist on the list, Wyclef John. Award-winning American hate and singer was recruited to feature on Wale, another single of Copy's debut album. Since the collaboration was released, the two have remained friends, but the founding over each other in the comment section of their social media posts have since stopped. Despite her strategy for fame and even the CNN interview she had on her then upcoming album, Copy's 12-track debut album, Original Copy, was snubbed for the 2021 Eddie's Award. Also, fans wonder why her elder sister, Tolani, has not featured on her album or has at least worked on one single with Copy. In her defense, Copy said Tolani declined to feature on the album on the premise that she was not ready. Seeing her close friendship with Davido, fans are equally curious about why he has no single with Copy. Although 
though nothing concrete has been gotten to back this up, it appears the video declined to be on an album like Techno did. Another top artist Copy is trying to catch is Wizkid. A fan tweeted, DJ Copy and Wizkid, God when? DJ Copy redirected the fan to Wizkid with the reply, Ask Wizkid do. The truth is, other top Nigerian artists have learned how DJ Copy works, especially after a relationship with Techno and Zlatan. Trying to catch other big fish such as Davido and Wizkid could be a mission impossible, especially as these two artists are not looking for money or romance. Do you agree DJ Copy uses and dump current and oddest artists? Would you say the majority of them only agree to work with the billionaire heiress because they fancy her? Or it's all about the personality of open doors that could come from mingling with a billionaire heiress like Copy? Voice your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please give it a like and share. Don't forget to check out our channel for more interesting African stories and news we know you like. Subscribe to get notifications whenever we drop a new juicy video to keep you updated. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.